Hi everyone, it's Robbie from Bella here and today I'm going to do an uh, introduction to the Bella browser-based IDE. And today I have a Bella Mini starter kit connected and that includes the Bella Mini cape, the pocket beagle underneath and a micro SD card flashed with the latest Bella image. And this is just plugged in via USB to my laptop. So in order to access the browser-based IDE, all I need to do is open a browser or a new tab in the browser and go to bella.local. The IDE itself is served from the board, so there's no need to have an internet connection to start editing your code. Just open a browser window, go to this address, and it will load up. And in this case, this is just a test tone project. This is the main text editor here where you can edit C++ and Super Collider and C Sound code. Um, and in order to run the project, we want to click this first button here, Build and Run. And along this toolbar, you can see we have various buttons for different bits of functionality that we'll look at over the course of this tutorial. So there we can hear the 440 hertz tone um, coming through. Now, if we want to change the frequency of that tone, we can just edit the code here, click the Build and Run button again, and it will recompile the code on the board and start it running again. So all the audio that we can hear is coming directly from the board in this case, not from our laptop. So let's stop that just now. On the side here, we have this collapsible menu that gives you all the kind of main functionality that you want when building projects with Bella. So the first tab that opens is the Project Explorer tab. And this is where you're able to create new projects in a variety of languages. So in C++, Pure Data, Super Collider, or C Sound. You can also select from the projects that you've already made um, and do various kind of file actions like create new files, upload, um, download, rename, everything uh, that you would expect. And here you can also select between the, the various source files that are part of your project. In this case, we only have the one file render.cpp, which is what we're seeing on the left-hand side. So in the tab below, we have our examples. And here we have over 100 examples in a variety of different languages that take you through all the, the kind of basics of using Bella and so some that are uh, much more sophisticated. So from printing, using the oscilloscope, the digital inputs and outputs, analog inputs and outputs, and um, various kind of audio effects. But just now I'm just going to open up scope analog example. So here it is loaded in the text editor and I'm just gonna run that example now. So I, I have a couple of potentiometers connected up to my um, Bella Mini, and that's going into analog input zero and analog input one. Now, if I launch the oscilloscope here, I was, can see um, a green line that represents the first potentiometer and a blue line that represents the second one. And what we're seeing here is the, the green line changing the frequency of the sine tone that we can hear while the blue line controls its amplitude. This is all being sent at audio rate to the oscilloscope. And we have a full control panel here where you can change lots of nice things like, for example, the weight of the line and the various different controls for how it's rendered. There's also triggering like you would expect from an oscilloscope that has various different modes and you can zoom in and out on the x-axis. As well as time domain representation in the oscilloscope, we also have frequency domain representation. So here, if I just change the settings slightly so we can see it well, here you can see the peak of that sine tone sweeping back and forth as I change the frequency. So this is a great way of, of analyzing the signals within your Bella project, whether those be sensor signals or audio signals. Just going to stop that project running now. So alongside C++ projects, we also have projects in Pure Data, which is a very popular data flow language that many of our users enjoy using. So I'm just going to load up an example to show you what this looks like. This one, Sample Scrub. I will start running. So you can just run these projects in exactly the same way. The only difference is here that I cannot edit the pure data code directly in the browser. 
Rather, I have to edit that in Pure Data itself and then just drag and drop the file onto the browser to update it. And there's a full tutorial on how to use Pure Data with Bella on the blog, which I will link in in the description below this video. So here we can see this is a relatively simple patch. Again, this is using the two potentiometers to analog input 0 and 1. But in this case, they're actually scrubbing through a sample table. Real time. So there's one. Real. Real time. And here's the other. Now let's look at a more complex pure data example. So for those of you that are familiar with using pure data, this will be a familiar site. Uh, the spaghetti junction. Let's run this project. We can hear in this case there's a full algorithmic techno piece um, going ahead. So this is just to show that very complex PD patches can be run um, on Bella. In the tab below we have the settings tab and this is where you can change various project settings like block size, or the, the sample rate of the, the analog inputs, but the, the most important setting here is this top one, run project on boot. And here you can select from the projects that you currently have on your board and choose which one will be the project that runs when the board is powered up. So this is great for situations where you want to have your board in an installation or in a standalone instrument. So all you need to do is give power to the board and it will just run that project every time the, the board comes to life. Below that, the, this tab is the interactive pin diagram. And this shows you the numbering of all the pins, uh, both in C++ and in pure data. So there we have the analog inputs. Here, for example, we have the audio input and audio output. And it's particularly useful for finding the digital pins, which are scattered amongst the side headers here. And you can also select to see all the different boards that we, we offer at Bella. This, for example, is the original Bella board. Now below that we have a documentation tab that gives full documentation to the C++ API. So if you're wondering how a particular function works, you can just visit here and find um, documentation on that. And below that we have this libraries tab, and this is new functionality that we've added and that I will go into more detail on in the following video. But um, this is basically just uh, lots of libraries, reusable bits of code that have things such as audio stuff like ADSR, various filters and oscillators, and then lots of communication stuff like MIDI, open sound control, and web sockets. And it also has um, libraries for addressing custom sensors, so like sensors that work via I2C, like our trill sensors that we will look at in the next video. For now, I'm going to stop this tutorial here, and so I will stop the project running. And to disconnect from the board, you just push this shutdown button here, and that will gracefully shut down the board. So thanks for listening. In the, the next video, I'm going to have a more detailed look at the library and GUI functionality of the Bella IDE.